Hymns. Hello and welcome to the video tutorial for using the Hymns VNC mode on the BrailleSense U2, U2 QWERTY, and U2 Mini. VNC mode is a new feature as of version 8.6. VNC mode allows for your Braille Sense to be used with an iPad, iPhone, or Android device so that the phone or tablet can be used as a visual display. In order to use VNC mode, you need to download VNC Viewer by Real VNC from either the Apple iTunes Store or the Google Play Store. In order for VNC mode to work on the Braille Sense, you need to have the video display port set to on. You can do that on the Braille Sense by pressing space plus O. Braille display me up. Braille display is my first option. There are a lot of options in the global options menu. I'm going to press the letter D for video display. Video display D up. And if your Braille Sense says off, press the space bar until it says on and then press enter to save that option. Now let's see how VNC Viewer works. We are also assuming that you have your tablet and your Braille Sense connected to the same Wi-Fi network. To get started, I'm going to press function key 1 and go to my start and go to my start menu and the Braille Sense will announce file manager. File manager F. VNC mode is located under the utilities menu, so I can scroll down to utilities or I can press the shortcut key U. Calculator C. Now the Braille Sense announces the first item in the utilities menu, which is calculator. I am going to scroll down to VNC mode. Display time with date. Display compass heading. Wake up alarm. Calendar. Stopwatch. Terminal for screen reader. Display network status. Display power status. Format. Sleep timer. Macro Manager, VNC Mode, V. I could have skipped all of that by just using the shortcut key V. You can also use a hotkey to launch VNC Mode from anywhere on the Braille Sense at any time with function key 3 and V pressed simultaneously. I am going to go ahead and press Enter on VNC Mode. Checkbox checked. Active VNC Server Mode. When you open VNC Mode, you are first put on an item which is a checkbox, which is VNC server mode. You want for this box to be checked. Now we are in a dialog box and I can press tab, space 4 plus 5 on the keyboard or function key 3, and I am going to get an IP address. This address is going to be needed when I make my connection on the iPhone or iPad or Android device. For this demonstration we are using an iPad and I'm about to show you how to set up your initial VNC Viewer connection. On the iPad, I'm going to launch VNC Viewer. Hey, Doc. VNC Viewer. VNC Viewer. Hamburger menu. Button. Once I am in VNC Viewer, since I have not made a connection before, I'm going to go to Add Connection. Tab plus to No Connect Add. Button. Details. Text field is editing. Character mode. Now VNC Viewer needs some information from me. It needs to know the IP address that is, that is on my Braille Sense. The IP address is Wi-Fi network specific. So if you use VNC mode with VNC Viewer on multiple Wi-Fi connections, you will need to set up multiple VNC Viewer connections on your iPad or other tablet. In order to find the IP address, I'm going to press function key 3, which is also tab, which could also be space plus 4 plus 5. IP address 0.0.0.0 Ethernet port 1, 2. If I get an address that starts out with all zeros and it says Ethernet port, then I know that I need to scroll down to get my wireless IP address because I'm going to be connecting to a tablet over a wireless network. So I'm going to press my scroll button down and move forward. 
192.168.1.57, wireless LAN, 22. I now need to write this IP address onto the iPad in the address field, and I'm going to do that now. Note that your number will be different from mine, so there is no reason to pay attention to the number that I am writing on the iPad. After I have typed the IP address, I need to go to my next field, which is name. Clear text, name. My computer, text field. Double insertion point at end, name. In the name, I can put whatever name I want to use for this connection. I recommend that you use a name that is going to remind you what wireless network you used to connect it, so that if I am at Bob's Middle School and the, the Wi-Fi network is Bob's Middle School Wi-Fi, then I might want to call it something like Bob's Middle School Wi-Fi. This video is being recorded using the HIMS Wi-Fi network, so we'll just call this connection HIMS. Caps, cap D, cap F, cap G, cap H, cap A, U, J, U, I, I, M, M, Z, S, S. And now I am finished with all the information that I need. I could tab over on the Braille Sense and enter a password, which I would need in order to connect VNC Viewer. But for this video, we're going to skip that, and I'm going to go ahead and save this connection. Save button. In order to get to the save button, if you are using voiceover, you will want to tap on the upper part of the screen and then swipe to the left. I am now going to click on the save button. Save. Now, all I need to do to connect to my HIMSS connection is click on the connect button. Cancel button. Since we did not set up any encryption, I don't need to worry about encryption. That's where I would have entered a password on the Braille Sense. So now I'm going to go over to connect. Cancel encryption. Connect button. Connect. So if I want to show a document that is on my Braille Sense on an iPad or on your iPhone or Android device, I can do that. So let me show you quickly how this works. I'm going to go up to File Document Manager, four, file manager F. And, I'm, flash disk. and I am going to choose the flash disk by pressing enter. 2015 papers. I'm going to press enter on the HIMS stuff folder and we're going to open an AER program. HIMS forms fold air conference program with session descriptions. And I press enter. Loading. Air conference program with session. Please. And Air here we go. Air powers. And here we go. Here's the Air conference program from Virginia AER. You can see the entire an entire screen worth of information. Note that to do that, we turned Word View on. Uh, which is in the settings menu under files. So you go into the files menu, settings, and then to word view and make sure that that is set to yes. And if so, then you'll be able to look at an entire screen of data at a time. When you're ready to disconnect from VNC Viewer, you can simply turn off your Braille Sense and close your VNC Viewer. And when you reload VNC mode on the Braille Sense and reload VNC Viewer on your tablet, you will Tap the connection that you established before, and you'll be back in business. And that's it. And that concludes our VNC mode video tutorial from HIMSS. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon.